If you think that water people like the Metkayina tribe in the movie Avatar, the way of water are just fiction, you're wrong. Because the director of the Avatar movie, James Cameron, said that the Metkayina tribe was inspired by one of the water tribes in Indonesia. There are the sea people in Indonesia that live on stilted homes and live on rafts and so on. We looked at things like that and we see a couple of different villages. So are water people really real? Yes, water people can indeed be found in the coastal areas of Indonesia, the Philippines and Malaysia. This tribe is called the Bajau. The Bajau tribe is referred to as water people because they have undergone genetic mutations that have made them highly adapted to sea life, where they are born, live their lives, and even buried when they pass away. So who are the Bajau tribe, really? The exact origins of the Bajau tribe cannot be definitively determined but it is believed that they originated from the Sulu region in the Philippines. Their long history of migration across the water surrounding the islands has forged a strong connection with the sea in that area. This migration is believed to have occurred during the 18th and 19th centuries when the Bajo tribes sought new places to settle and establish their communities. Subsequently, the Bajo tribe dispersed across the eastern regions of Indonesia, particularly in the small islands and coastal areas of Sulawesi, Maluku and Nusa Tenggara. <laughs> in local folklore, the Bajau people are said to be descendants of sailors from Johor who were tasked by the Sultan to escort his daughter, Dayang Ayesha, to Sulu. During the voyage, they were attacked by a Brunei ship, which managed to kidnap the princess. Unable to protect the princess, they refused to return to Johor and continued their journey to Sulu, persistently searching for the princess. Since then, they have lived a wandering life across the seas. As a tribe known for their seafaring lifestyle, the Bajau people's lives are closely intertwined with the sea. They are also renowned as a nomadic or wandering tribe, earning them the title of sea gypsies. The Bajau people live and move in family groups on boats known as Sop. These boats serve as their homes and are considered invaluable necessities. All activities of the Bajau tribe are conducted on these boats, including eating, sleeping, performing religious rituals, playing for children, and even giving birth. The community only settles near the coast during certain seasons when the waters are calm. The Bajau tribe also ventures onto the mainland to repair their boats, procure fishing equipment, or engage in social activities such as weddings, circumcisions, burials, and other ceremonies. Renowned for their exceptional seafaring skills, the Bajau people's primary livelihood is typically fishing. They employ traditional fishing methods such as nets, traps, hooks, and even arrows. Like their blood intertwined with the ocean, the Bajau people are the guardians of the sea. They live on it, build their homes upon it, and take care of everything within it. This strong bond between the sea and the Bajau people gives them unique swimming abilities and has led to genetic mutations that differentiate them from ordinary humans. Most of their time is spent underwater, sometimes up to five hours a day. They possess extraordinary diving abilities, reaching depths of up to 70 meters and staying submerged for more than 13 minutes without using scuba gear like oxygen tanks. This is significantly different from the average human who can hold their breath underwater for less than one minute. 
Even professional divers with intensive training can typically hold their breath for only around five, seven minutes. The Bajau people have evolved. This statement comes from a study conducted by Melissa Lardo, a PhD student from the Center for Geogenetics at the University of Copenhagen, published in the scientific journal Cell in 2012, titled Physiological and Genetic Adaptations to Diving in Sea Nomads. The research findings indicate that the spleen, an internal organ of the Bajau tribe, is 50% larger than that of the Saluan tribe, their closest relatives who live on land. This suggests a unique physical adaptation of the Bajau people to life in the sea. The spleen plays a crucial role in storing red blood cells containing oxygen. When a person dives, the spleen contracts, releasing more oxygen-rich red blood cells into the bloodstream. This allows the body to continue distributing oxygen to organs, maintaining basic human functions even underwater. Due to the larger spleen of the Bajau tribe, they have 10% more reserves of red blood cells, enabling them to stay submerged for longer periods. In addition to the spleen, this research also identified mutations in the PDE, 10A gene located on chromosome Notier 6, which affects thyroid hormones that directly influence spleen size. Furthermore, mutations were found in the BDAKRB2 gene on chromosome number 14, which affects human diving reflex. The way of life of the Bajau tribe, estimated to number around one million people, is increasingly endangered. With the advancement of the world, they have become a marginalized tribe. Many Bajau people who now reside on land no longer work as fishermen. Fishing activities have also begun to change with the use of modern methods, no longer requiring exceptional swimming skills. For some, this is concerning as the Bajau people may lose their extraordinary diving and fishing abilities. This is a form of freedom in life. Everyone deserves prosperity in their own way, even if it means leaving behind their culture, and we should respect that.